Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm here at the Electric Fi Filament. Did I say that right? Electrify. Electrify Filament. How you doing, man? Good. I'm doing good. But now that you're here, yeah, it's great to meet you in person. That's cool. So tell us a little bit about the filament and kind of what you're doing here at Maker Faire. Right, so we have this Electrify filament that's about 100 times more conducting than anything out there. Uh, has a resistivity of about six uh, milliohm centimeter. So you got to trace this long, it's about five ohm. So you can make things like uh, LED matrices, uh, as well as just signs. Uh, we have uh, our 3D printed Terminator head. Of course. Um, so this is really cool. Yeah. So this is all uh, printed, dual printed, correct? Yeah, this is dual printed, right. Awesome. And uh, what, what's powering it right now? Um, a LiPo battery. OK. There you go. Great. So you can see the trace inside yeah. there. Great. So this is a great example of sort of integrating your circuits. Your 3D printer can, can do this. You can print this yeah. if you have a dual extruder. But you don't also have to have a dual extruder. You no. can print on all sorts of different uh, materials. So yeah. for the sign example, is is the, the traces are 3D printed, but right. you're printing on top of foam board, Foam right? board, yeah. That's great. Super cheap and light substrate. Yeah. So this we brought down in like a carry-on bag, right? I never saw, yeah. I never <laughs> saw like a foldable LED sign, right? right. That you, there's lots of people go conferences, right? Yep. And you really want to get attention. Well, this is going to get is right, attention from a long ways yeah. away. Yeah. This is cool because you can you have a flexible circuit in a sense. Uh, yeah. Because it could have, you could kind of put the, you could print on anything. You could print on a shirt. I saw some yeah. the other day. You could print on a shirt, so you can. Uh, so how do you actually attach uh, surface mount components onto the filament? What's the best way to do that? So the way we use is uh, we have our circuit. We heat an area with a solder reflow tool, yeah. like just some hot air, 100 degrees Celsius, and then smush in the LEDs. And just let it cool down. Yeah. So it sticks. Okay. Cool. <laughs> So for, something like, so for something like this, you can have LEDs kind of uh, place the LEDs down and then mush the filament on top yeah. with uh, just a soldering iron. So I think you were telling me earlier that you, you did like a kind of mini workshop where you, where you were having these? Yeah, we ran out, uh, but we had like a line of kids here um, choosing their LED color, uh, you know, red, green, blue, whatever. Choose in the 3D printed ghost color, yeah. and then um, you can show them how to you get the right polarity and mush right. the mush the filament on top. That's cool. And you got your blinky for Halloween. Yeah. And you're using the hot air, the, the hot air, right? It's like right. You're, you're, no, no solder required. No, no solder, or you can just use a, a soldering iron, but just mush, mush right. the filament okay. like a hot conducting glue. So what's interesting about the filament is it's very low temperature. It is. Yeah. So in a sense, you could kind of print faster. Yeah. Is that right? Okay. Well, you can go up to 45 millimeters per second. Okay. I'd say. Oh, printing yeah. speed. I meant printing like speed. Yeah. When you're printing at a lower temperature, you don't have to wait so long for the thing to heat oh, up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. Cool. Okay. All right, and so I, I really like this display here. So Thank you're using you. um, an Adafruit Blue uh, BLE module. That's right. The Adafruit app. Yeah. So you have like sort of this spell your own display. Yeah, this is so fun. You know, I love that Adafruit uh, made this and released this because then you can really, you know, kids love to to draw with this. So these thing. are NeoPixels, right? Right, NeoPixels embedded in this 3D uh, printed uh, matrix. I don't see the traces. Is it like sandwiched in between two things? Yeah, so this is kind of what it looks like inside. Nice, okay, cool. Yeah. Let me go back so, to that blue. What did you draw this in? Like, what CAD package did you draw that in? Um, I think it was like uh, Autodesk, uh, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. What's cool about it is that you can, it doesn't matter, right? So you can, no. this could be a, a, an SVG and then you can you can import that into any CAD software. Yeah, really and cool. extrude it in the in the Z direction. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So yeah, the, we I think we use Tinkercad as well, but yeah. you know obviously the website kind of disconnects or whatever sometimes. Okay. But yeah, so the CAD the CAD file it's like whatever. But we, since after seeing you guys use Simplify 3D, that's been our go-to for, okay. for dual. Yeah. Cool. So we've got a few examples here. So we've got the protopasta. Right, great for capacitive touch, but with the resistance of like 1300 ohm per 10 centimeter, you can't really light up much besides one LED. Then you got your graphene 3D, that's about 130 ohm. And then with the Electrify, 
looking below 10 ohm. The uh, silver trace is kind of messed up here, but yeah, as low as low as five ohms, I'd say. Very impressive. Yeah. So I guess one last question. Um, yeah. What's what's actually in the material? Um, it's it's so it's a composite of uh, copper and uh, primarily copper and a biodegradable polyester. Yeah. Well, great. Where can people find more about your filament? So multi 3 dllccom Okay. Yeah. All right, well, check yeah. it out, guys. This is pretty awesome. If you're thinking about and integrating... hopefully add a fruit soon. Yes, hopefully add a fruit soon. <laughs> cool. So if you're looking to uh, turn your 3D printer into a um, pick-and-place kind of machine?